Hey, hello, Emily. You good, Pierre? Yeah, it's going great. So, you preferred the electric train to the electric car for your return trip? Paul and the children wanted to extend the stay, but I had to go back, huh? No remote work possible, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. By the way, who won the children's big top start game? Now there, you will be amazed. Don't tell me it's you with the EC4. No, but their cousins only arrived 30 minutes early, so on a five-hour journey, the impact is small. How did you do it? We followed the road safety recommendations to take breaks of 15 to 20 minutes every two hours. That's what they did too, except we took the opportunity to recharge. Good strategy. Yes. Well, we were also helped by the trip planner application. It's like a personal assistant that offers you a charging strategy on shorter and more numerous stops, which results in a reduction of your travel time. In the end, as a tank, 50 kilometers per hour is a good idea. It doesn't raise the price of the car too much, and the weight of the battery remains reasonable compared to your consumption. You're right. Especially on a five-hour journey, three 20-minute stops are enough. Oh, and by the way, hmm? your electric vehicle special? Great. Yes? Really? Thank you for your valuable information. Without you, mm -hmm. the show had a great impact. In fact, it has raised quite a few questions about hydrogen vehicles. So, I did a little research. Yes, you need my help? <laughs> yes, if it's not too much. Take me home, I'll get you a drink, and I will try to enrich your meager knowledge. Okay. I imagine buying an electric vehicle and in two years, bang! Impossible to sell because hydrogen is the new star. You'd be bummed. 